hello and welcome to this video it's Leonard here again from detailena.com and in today's video tutorial i'm going to actually walk you step by step on how to use trading view app on your phone okay to do technical analysis and start trading um, crypto with it all right so i have a link in the video description if you don't have a trading view account already just click on that link and it will take you to the trading view sign up with your email once you sign up with your email it will prompt you to download the trading view app okay if you don't have the trading view app already once you go to play store okay so once you go to play store you want to type trading view once you type trading view you see the trading view track all markets okay go ahead and install it i've installed it already so i'll go ahead and just open it up now after you sign up when you open it up this is what it looks like okay so here i have my watch list okay if you want to trade crypto you can put all of the crypto pairs that you want to be watching okay in your watch list and then if you want to start analyzing the market you can use the chart option so um this is basically what i'll be using most of the time so i need to adjust this you can equally use the trading view for forex you know stock anything at all um but basically my concern is for crypto so everything i'm going to have on the watch list there will be crypto all right so i'm going to remove all of this that you see here okay i'm going to remove all of this and just make it crypto only all right so to remove any of um all of this okay any any of this that you don't want on your watch list all you just need to do is slide it okay a bit hold that particular one and slide it a bit to to the to the left and delete so i'll go on and do all of that for all of these that i have here okay just slide it to the left delete slide to the right uh, left delete okay you see this is under the crypto tab but i just deleted it i'm going to add every token that i want to be on my watch list okay so I'll just slide this is for um forex okay slide and delete slide so you slide and delete okay all right so just do for all of these all right so after i've cleared my watch list the next thing i need to do is um at the top okay at the top right here you see the plus icon remember we are still on the watch list so you go to the plus icon and click on it okay so once i click on it all i just need to do is to type what i want to add to my watch list i already have btc usdt here okay and you see the exchange is coming from its binance so i have btc usd usdt btc usd and the rest so i'm going to pick the ones that i want i need to add um, btc usdt okay so you just add it and it enters your watch list i click on the plus icon again i equally need to add ethereum usdt okay click on the plus icon again i need to add um, ADA usdt for instance just type it in full so you see ADA usdt there from bybit so you go ahead and click if you don't like the chart of the bybit you can change to any other chart you want okay so i can do this for as many coins as i want i can do for comp bnb okay let me do for bnb usdt okay bnb usdt so click on that i can do for i do trade um sun usdt as well so that should equally be on my list sun usdt so i choose the one for bybit i can do for comp okay compound coin usdt okay usdt so just type any of the coins that you want type them there and then go ahead and click on it so just use all of these options and add any coin you want if i want to trade um we should have token again xrp okay let's do xrp usdt So that way you can use that to add as many tokens as you want on your, you know, um, on your watch list. Okay, I can go ahead and add. Let me just fill up this page and add as many tokens as I want. Okay. 
all right so i just added a few of these tokens to my watch list as you can see here okay i just added all of them to my watch list now if i want to trade any coin here okay let's say i want to add indicators and start trading any coin let's say we want to go with btc i'll go ahead and click on btc so if i click on btc okay if i click btc is going to open up the btc chart that is where we can use it to analyze okay this is what the chart looks like all right so um the default indicator that comes with it here is the the volume indicator okay if you want to use the volume indicator you can go ahead and use that but if i don't want i can click on the volume indicator okay so once i click on the volume indicator you see the settings popping up here okay so i can click here to close it i can click here to tweak the setting or i can click this eye icon to hide those um that particular indicator but i just want to close it because i just want to add another indicator so i just go ahead and click on the x to close it so you see that the volume is off our chart okay and we are looking at bitcoin right now on the hourly uh, daily time frame okay so to change the time frame this is it says 1d which is one day okay one day time frame if i want to change the indicator i can the time frame sorry i can go ahead and click on this okay so these are all the time frames that i have now for the free account there are um you cannot use the seconds okay anything less than one minute i think you can use that for with a free account you have to pay to be able to use that so i'll go ahead and favorite some of this time frame okay so let me just favorite some of the time frame that i use most of the time i use one minute so i'll go ahead and favorite that so i'll just click and hold when i click and hold it says add to favorite i'll just go ahead and check the star okay it has been added to favorite I can do five minutes just add to favorite 15 minutes add to favorite 30 minutes add to favorite okay we do one hour add to favorite and then four hours add to favorite and then the daily time frame should equally be added to favorite so these are all the time frame that i need i can now switch in between if i want to go to 15 minutes if i just click on it okay it will just open meaning that what we are looking at right now every candle here um opened and closes in 15 minutes okay every candle here opens and closes in 15 minutes that's what we are looking at right now if you want to do the daily again if i click on that i go back to the daily time frame so this is equally the daily time frame okay if you want to know the day of the present candle i can just you know um zoom in and add on my screen okay just like you stretch in and out on your screen to zoom out um, and out of this candle. So if I click and hold here, you see this line that is on. Um, so if I click and hold here, okay, you see this line, this line that is appearing here, okay, um, the horizontal, the vertical lines that you see here. What um, this is simply means is that um, you see here that is highlighted black is showing us the price depending on where we select okay so if i continue to move that line up and down it will just be showing us the price then if you follow this other one that is coming from up down here you see the particular day is telling you that this candle that i highlighted was opened on the 26th of june 2022 okay so it took this candle a whole day okay when it opens and when it closes so that is exactly what you are seeing there okay all you just need to do is just to click and hold on your screen and then you see the highlight and you can be able to follow up with it okay and this one that is opening now the candle just open up and when you look at here okay when you look at it the first one is the price and beneath it is the time so it means that we are still left with 23 hours okay for this candle to close so if you want to make any decision now is you are now saying in 23 hours 23 hours from now will this candle close up okay or will it close down so it is now your decision to make and the rest but there are technical um indicators the indicators you use on the trading view to do all of that okay so if i want to add any indicator to this to my to okay if i want to add any indicator to my trading view account um one of the indicators i'm going to show you here is the rsi okay if you are trading crypto or living forex any uh, thing that you need to do analysis with using trading view and you don't know how to use rsi then you should go and learn okay so i'll just go ahead and add the rsi there are a lot of thousands and hundreds of indicators with trading view that you can use 
even with the free account though with the free account you can only use three indicator at a go okay so i can put in my rsi right now and let's see how that works so to add an indicator we'll just click on this plus icon right here okay so i'll go ahead and click on the plus icon when i click on it you see you have the drawings alerts you know um, financials then we have indicators so we want to add in um, an rsi into our chart so what we need is the indicators i'll click on indicators okay when i click on indicators you just need to come into the search bar here and type the indicator you want rsi so if i type rsi this first one that pops up that says relative strength index that is the full meaning of rsi that is the one we are going to use so i have the option to equally favorite this by just clicking on the star icon there okay so i can favorite this so that next time i don't need to come and search for it again and then click on it to add it up to our chart so once i click on it it has been added okay any of the indicators you want to use okay another indicator that i want to add there is the bollinger bands so if i click on the bollinger bands indicator okay you just go ahead there are a lot of indicators actually so you need to know how what they are how they work before you can actually use it to analyze your market so you see we have the bollinger band strategy we have this one but the one i want is the bollinger bands indicator itself okay so i'll go ahead and favorite this again by just clicking on the star icon to favorite that and then i'll add it up again to our chart remember with a free account i can use up to three indicator but this two is enough for me to scalp the market all right so here is our chart this is what the bollinger bands looks like and then this is what the rsi look like and these indicators work with the present time frame that you are selecting okay so whatever analysis you are doing the movement in the candles whatever decision you want to make is based on the time frame so if i want to scalp the market i normally go with five minutes 15 minutes so if i click on the time frame here i can go to my 15 minutes time frame okay click on it and this will give us the result according to that time frame that we have selected okay so right here what i can do is the rsi we have the 30 level okay on the rsi we have the 30 level and then we have the 70 level whenever these lines okay these signal lines on the rsi line crosses above the 70 level and is trading let's say at 75 80 or thereabout okay you it, it is going to tell you that this is overbought so you look for an opportunity to short the market okay and then whenever it crosses the 30 level let's say it's trading at 35 40 or there but you look for an opportunity to long the market that is basically how you use the rs rsi okay so that is how we're going to use the rsi but first i'll click on the rsi just click on it okay this is our rsi so if i go ahead and click okay click um here once you click here this pops up if i want to hide it i'll just click on the eye icon I need to go ahead and hide that but i want to go ahead and click on the settings okay so i'll click on the settings once i click on the settings i want to make sure that the rsi length is um 14 okay that is showing 14 here basically you don't need to do um anything here you don't really need to do anything here all right so you can use the default rsi i can come in here and say style for instance and then change the colors to whatever i want okay you can change the colors to whatever you want so go ahead and click on uh, once you are done with that you go ahead and click on okay so this is what we'll be getting okay this is what we'll be getting right here so another thing you need to note is that the rsi is showing you the number at which it is trading with okay so from the middle here okay from 70 to the middle is 50 this middle line here is 50 and then this last one here is um 30 and this one is 70 so in most cases you see market moving from the oversold level to the average which is this middle line and then it bounces it back again okay and when it crosses this you wait for it to go to the overbought level okay when it goes to the overbought level you look for an opportunity to short the market and then when it comes here you will always want to put your take profit anytime you want to exit the market let's say you see this okay um if i scroll backwards here yeah? all right see this is what i'm actually saying so this was actually trading at this level okay meaning that this was showing that this is overbought all right 
and then if you have entered this market here when it start reversing back okay you don't want to be greedy and say oh you must come back to the 30 before you take profit always set your take profit somewhere around there between um this middle here okay don't exceed this and then when it comes there always set your profit in the middle here your take profit in the middle and so on okay that is how you use the rsi so right now if it is trading down here okay so if i scroll to the end here we'll see that this is currently trading under the 50 level so we'll just wait for it to show us that it is overbought then we'll go ahead and long the market so you see um you know the rsi line and the indicator line you see them represented with their color here to tell you the number the position okay where it is so for it to be for you to know that this is overbought it has to be somewhere around there and this can be showing 31 35 40 or there about okay before you can see that it is overbought and then the same thing the always so just learn how to use rsi with rsi you can actually um with rsi alone you can make decisions in the market and start trading crypto okay why for the bollinger bands okay we have the lower bands we have the upper band and then we have the average line so the same thing just like we have the lower band here the you know middle uh, line there and the upper band line so this equally works the same way you are using this as your resistance and then your support line why this serves as average so the market will always want to trade to the average come back trade again to the average and come back in most cases when it breaks through it trades up to the you know upper bands which is serving as resistance level and it, it will always return back so when you see all of these options these are things you need to use to make decision in the market i just wanted to show you how to set up um the trading view and then use it to you know make good decision in the market so if you don't have a trading view account already go ahead and set up a trading view account and i do have a bot that i teach my community how to use in you know automating features if you want to be a part of that community use the link to join the telegram group we do look at some of these indicators during our zoom meetings one after the other you probably want to be a part of that community and learn more how to trade um, crypto on your own and start making money from it you could become a full-time trader you could become a part-time trader trading is something you can do in the weekend you can do it um, when you come back from work or before you go to work all can be done okay this is crypto trading it doesn't have um, it opens 24 7 so you can even wake up midnight and, and start trading crypto so i just wanted to share this with you this is basically what i want to share with you go ahead and set up your trading view and join the community to learn more on how to use um, some of these indicators that we have a lot of them on trading view actually so learn how to use them and i'll see you guys in the next video